Hey, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles, and today is January 21st, 2023, and I am in cold York, Pennsylvania. It's the middle of winter, but this is the Potomac Vintage Riders Swap Meet. Today is setup day. This video is a preview for the full video coming up probably tomorrow. So subscribe, stay tuned, follow, whatever. Uh, I'll see if I can get some quick highlights. Maybe tomorrow we'll do a, an instant premiere. And of course, I had to park next to this Z1. That looks like the first year. And a couple of RM Suzuki's. Exciting cold. Alright, here's the preview. See a Triumph Hurricane there? Ooh. Can you spot the Zundap Super Saber? A couple of Pentons. See an Osa Explorer. Mako. This is the show. We got a Mako. A couple of Elsinores. An S3 Kawasaki. Here's an SWM 250. Now I have a 440 in my shop. I think that's a Fantic. Uh, probably a Bronco. No, it's a Yankee boss. I'm not sure what that is. There's an explorer. No, it's a phantom. We got another Looks like an explorer. Guess the lights threw me. Fonterra. That must be a late Pioneer, because it almost looks like a Super Pioneer. There's a Honda Black Bomber. So now, if you recall looking at one of these at our Mecham auction, See, these cases are painted, but it's not that cheap spray bomb aluminum looks like silver paint. This is Flat Tracker from the Jim Hollerich collection. I think that's the fellow that had the Osa Museum that had an auction earlier. Is this a Wassell? No, it's a Cheney Sax, huh? Is that a Cheney frame with a Sax motor? There's a flat twin. That's, I think that's a DS7. 500 Trophy Scrambler. It's 
says R5. I thought the R5 had reed valves. Someone will correct me. Falta CZ, check out that head. Persang. Well, this is why you get up here on setup day. I bought this. Now it's got a Makuni on it, aftermarket ignition, and it looks like a Moto Guzzi headlight, but he had the original parts. This is a Mark II Voltaco Matrala. Mark II, five speed 250, and closed chain. And uh, that's why you come early.